Hey everyone, it's Lisa from BudgetEquestrian.com and today I'm going to show you how I clean my bridles. So the first thing I do is I have a planter out front and I take that down and this is where I like to clean my bridles. I like to do it outside, especially during the summer, spring, and when it's not rain or when it's not raining or snowing. But then I have a tack hook that I will put up and then I bring out my bridles and I will put one bridle on each of those hooks. This isn't a super fancy way and it's not a completely thorough way to clean bridles, but it is a quick way and it makes fast work of cleaning the bridles. So this way I can do it in a relatively quick manner and that gives me more time to do other things. These are the items I like to use when I'm cleaning my bridles. Uh, Passier Bridle Cleaner, which is a spray form, basically a spray saddle soap. Pass your leader balsam, which is a leather conditioner, a couple of rags, a scrub rag, and some clean water. And that's all you need to really clean bridles. So once I have all of my stuff ready to go, all of my products for cleaning, then I'm going to take the bridle cleaner and spray it on the leather. I like to make sure that I get it on the nose bands, the keepers, everything. The, the side pieces, the cheek pieces, the brow bands, head stalls, the crown pieces, the reins, everything. Typically I will clean the head stalls first and then I'll move down to the reins. So you can do it however you want. This is just my preferred method. It makes it pretty fast, um, especially because I am cleaning three bridles. And actually two of these bridles are bridles that I use on my horses, Frisbee and Ethan. And the third bridle was a really, really old one that we had for another horse. And I was like, I would like to clean that bridle and keep the leather in as good a condition as possible. It's kind of a cheapy bridle, but it's always good to have a spare. So I figured I'd bring that out and clean it too. So when I'm cleaning my bridles, I use the bridle cleaner and I spray it on. And then I get a nice clean wash rag from with clean water. And I start scrubbing all of the pieces of leather. I like to make sure that there's no sweat marks or anything on it on the leather and occasionally if there's a really dirty spot that I can still see like there's sweat or grime I'll grab a little bit more of the leather cleanser and just spray a little bit extra on. This stuff works really good for cleaning your bridles and your saddles and basically anything leather and it's nice that it's a spray on form. It's a little bit more expensive and I don't know if you saw in the beginning of the video when I showed the Passier um, Bridal Cleaner, but it had a price tag on it of like $22.95 and I actually found it on eBay for about $9. So that was a really good deal in my opinion. Now I'm just continuing to clean and now I'm actually working on the reins and I do one side at a time and spray the bridal cleaner onto the reins as well. Once this is all done and the bridles are all clean, I'll dry them off with a with a clean towel and then I will take the leader balsam and start working it into the leather. I don't use a rag with the leader balsam. I actually just put some on my fingertips and then work it into all of the leather. I don't wipe off the excess because the bridal leather will absorb it and it actually makes your reins really soft. It makes all of the leather really soft and pliable. If you have an inexpensive bridle, and I'm sure you've seen them before, the leather feels like cardboard. If you use the Passier Leader Balsam on it, it'll really help to soften it and you don't have to soak it in Neat's Foot Oil or anything. It just takes some time. So once I have all of the bridles cleaned and they have the leather conditioner on them, then I'm going to take another scrub rag and I'm going to wipe down all of my bits just with clean water. You can get really cool bit cleaners, but water seems to work just fine. So I'm just cleaning all of the bits to get all the slobber stains off of the bits because I want to make sure that they're nice and clean and ready to go in my horse's mouth the next time I'm ready to ride. And these are what the bits look like all nice bright and shiny. I didn't use any polishes or anything. I just used water and a little bit of elbow grease to get the grime off. But I'm pretty happy with how this works for me with cleaning my bridles. Again, it's just a tack hook that I hang up, a planter hook that is outside on my patio. And my bridles are all clean, ready to be hung up and put away until I'm ready to ride with them soon, I hope. 
Thank you so much for watching my video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.